There may be times when you need to create an app that has different role-based access permissions. Um, and, and one of the aspects of creating an app that has that is displaying information or hiding information based on certain context, right? Or, or role of the user that's currently logged into the app. In addition to that, you could be talking about the editability as well of specific columns or validation rules for those columns. Um, and where you can make these changes is firstly, you know, at, at the column level itself, um, for any column, let me get that expanded there, for any column, by clicking the attribute button here, you'll notice that for a lot of the att attributes here for a column, such as show, uh, valid if, require, and um, editability, you know, whether it's read-only or not read-only, you have this little flask next to it, which will open up formula um, formula field that you can enter formula in. And this is where you can then reference other parts of the app. You can reference those user roles I mentioned in a previous video and have a formula to determine whether this field will apply one of those attributes or not um, based off the results of those formulas. So this formula should evaluate out into yes or no, or yes or no result. But that's how you can um, have these apps, you know, the functionality change based off of who is logged into the app or when someone's logged into the app or where somebody's logged into the app itself. Um, so, so you have that for columns. And then in addition to that, you also have the, the same ability with the views as well. So for any view in app sheet, if you scroll down to the um, to the behavior section, sorry, not the behavior section, the display section of that view, there's a show if field as well. So you can do the same thing here to have views show or not show based off different scenarios. Same with format rules, right? So you can build those in to have your formatting change in different scenarios. Under actions, under behavior actions, for any behavior, you also have the ability to have a condition as well. So you can have action icons that show or not show or, or um, actions that are part of automations, either run or not run based off of those rules. Um, so I think that pretty much covers um, you know what would what could be there uh, what what can be used i guess as far as um, making your app more dynamic i just wanted to point that out and hopefully that helps in understanding how you could use these different building blocks there to create an app that really is that could appear a lot different based off the individual who's logged into the app at any given time